Hello, welcome you all in organic photochemistry. In my today's lecture, I will explain the photochemistry of aromatic compounds, where I will discuss the photochemistry of benzene and the photochemistry of substituted benzene, for, for example, this xylene. Now, let's start with the photochemistry of benzene. Suppose if uh, we irradiate the benzene with light, then in that case we will get here, no doubt, this pi to pi star transition that will take place, and we get a two type, three type of product. One is this is the Dewar benzene, and second one is the fulvine. And third one, benzene. So these three products we get when the benzene is irradiated. So this is the Dewar benzene and the fulvine, and we have this. Uh, So this Dewar benzene we get via via this uh, S two state, whereas this fulvine and benzoline we get via S one state. Out of these two, this fulvine is the major product. This is the major product, and benzoline is the minor product. Now, if you see the mechanism for this, then suppose if we irradiate the benzene, suppose suppose this is part uh, one. So if we irradiate this one with a light having a wavelength of two hundred and five nanometer, and this, when we irradiate this two hundred five nanometer, benzene will get excited and it will it will go into the s2 state this is s2 state we will go into the s2 state and suppose we may write this as an excited benzene and this excited benzene now it can rearrange in a, so it can rearrange and we may write suppose we may write in a radical form and finally this will give the these two again it will rearrange okay this we may show it the radical mechanism and we may write it like this okay so or otherwise if you want to write one more step then We are getting these three, this product. So this is the Dewar benzene, and this we may represent this one. We may represent this one in a different way. Oh, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And this is our first, second, and this is third. This is fourth, fifth, and sixth. And we have a one of the bond between second and third. Next bond between sixth and fifth, and this bond. Now, in presence of this light, it may also undergo two plus two cyclo addition reaction. So, two plus two cyclo addition reaction can occur, and we will get a prismine type of intermediate over here. We will get a prismine. We will get a prismine. Okay. So, one of the bond. This will. Form a bond between two and six, and another bond between here three and five. So this will form a bond between three and five. So this is called as a prismine. Okay. So 
when this the warp engine is formed it means we are getting one of the prismic type of intermediate is formed over here now in the next suppose how we can get this fulvine and benzene so suppose if we have again if we irradiate it so this is the product when benzene is irradiated by a some high energy and if we irradiate by lower energy means uh, that is only the it get irradiated to the it get excited to only suppose s1 state suppose this is s1 state s1 state means if it is excited to a lower excited state lower excited singlet state this is higher excited singlet state so lower excited singlet state means uh, if having the having a higher wavelength and it's come out to be at 254 nanometer so it will under it will go into the first excited singlet state and suppose this is the our benzene in first excited singlet state like this now after here we may write this one so this may be written in a this radical form in radical form we may write this one as a and finally we may write okay so suppose again if we want to write a rearranged product for this then another way that we may write the rearranged product is so this is the way that we may write one of the so this radical and this radical it may form bond over here already this for one of the bond is present over here and this is another radical now <coughs> so now we have uh, this both radicals are secondary radical this is secondary radical this is also secondary radical now second again the rearrangement can take place here one of the hydrogen is present over here this hydrogen will can form a bond with this hydrogen atom can form bond with this one of the radical will remain over here and what we will get we will get a radical over here and hydrogen we are getting two hydrogens and one radical at this place okay so there here as you can see a tertiary radical we are from a secondary radical a tertiary radical is formed this is a secondary radical and this is the tertiary radical so this is the driving force so driving force for this h transfer here as you can see a h transfer is hydrogen radical transfer over here and driving force for is the formation of this tertiary radical now from here we may get a product and in rearrangement via this rearrangement you may get a so one of the sorry okay so this now this is a three member ring this is a three member ring and this three member ring it can okay this is the new bond which is formed so we have to we have to break one of the old bond so this bond can break from here and what we will get we will get a so if you are breaking this bond and i may write so i should remove this here sorry okay. so <clears throat> one of the new bond so new bond that would be formed between this radical and this radical uh, this is double bond which is formed and we have one more double bond between here one more radical is generated at this carbon and this radical and this can form another bond now we can represent this in a, another way we can represent it in a this fulvin type of form so i may represent it so two double bond in a five member ring and one of the this double bond over here so we are getting the full beam okay now so this fulvine is a major product over here this is the major one why major because this reaction is going via the formation of this rearrangement where the 
secondary radical is transferred into the secondary radical is transferred into the this tertiary radical now another way and of this with uh, this benzoin formation so suppose if we have this one this is part a now let us discuss this part b of this when benzene is again via this singlet state that is 254 nanometer by a singlet state we are getting one excited benzene and this excited benzene this excited benzene is giving we may write I will write the same thing this one and one radical over here and this so now uh, I will not uh, do the hydrogen transfer over here and this can give you the another product that is this rearranged one like this okay now this is actually this is actually benzoline this can be written in the benzoline form so as we can see, so this is one of the five membered ring. This is one of the five membered ring containing a double bond. This is one of the five membered ring containing a double bond. And this one is now getting converted into benzene. This can be represented in the benzene form. Suppose I write first given numbering 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so 6 I have shown 3 and 4 double bond over 3 and 4th carbon and from 3rd we have 2nd carbon and from 4th we have 5th carbon and this is our 6th carbon and this is the 1st carbon as you can see and 2, 6, one of the 2, 6 bond, 6, 5 bond and the, one of the bond is between 1 and 6 so 1st is now attached to the second and first is also attached to the fifth so this is the way so here we are getting this product without this hydrogen transfer and so this is not quite stable one this is not so stable whereas this is more stable that's why this is the minor product this is the minor product and this would be the major product now in this way we can show the photochemistry of benzene now uh, let us see the photochemistry of a substituted benzene. See the photochemistry of xylene. Now, suppose if we have a it's ortho xylene and if it is irradiated, then one two alkyl shift will take place, and one of this uh, methyl, one of this alkyl group, that will get shifted to the next position that is second position. So if it is present at this position, it will get shifted to here. And now again, a one two shift is possible. Again, one two shift is possible. And this one two shift, this will give you the paraxylene. Again, this will shift to this next position. This is the paraxylene, and here we may also see that this can again be converted into here and via this 1-3 shift so via 1-3 shift if we have this para gyrene, then this para gyrene after this 1-3 shift that would be converted into this ortho gyrene. now if we see the mechanism for this then suppose first i will discuss the mechanism for 
is one two alkyl shift. One two alkyl shift. Now how this one two alkyl shift can takes place? So we may show this alkyl shift via two type of intermediate via prismine or or via benzoline intermediate. So this can be shown via prismine or benzoline intermediate. We have this xylene or two xylene and after the radiation it will get excited okay and then it will undergo uh, after this excited one that so what i have written this one to alkyl shift uh, it can take place via prismine type of intermediate or benzoline type of intermediate so what was the benzoline so what i told you this was the benzoline intermediate this I shown you, this was a benzoline intermediate. So in the same way that could be converted into this benzoline intermediate. And so I may write it. Okay, so suppose it is, I may give number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, so here what you can see, now the bond this is the newly formed bond. This four, six, and one five is the new form bond which is formed. Mm -hmm. Now this these are the three, two, three member rings, two, three member ring, and this may get broken. This may get broken. So one of the way is we can break this bond. Suppose I break either I break this bond, and next that I may break this bond. Okay, so what I will get? So when these one of the bond, it is three member ring, one bond should break, and means I have broken this one, and I have broken this one also. And already one of the bond is present over here. Next bond is present over here. This is fifth. This is sixth, and first, second, third, and fourth. So this radical over here, one of the radical over here and the radical over here, it may form a double bond in the same way, this radical and this radical, radical at fourth and sixth carbon, this may form a this bond, double bond. So now, and already one of the carbon, one of the alkyl group is present at this position. Now, if you rearrange it, if you will rearrange it, then what you will get? You will get, you will get this first, second, third, fourth now from fourth we have sixth carbon and from first we have fifth carbon is attached and from first carbon we have this alkyl group at sixth carbon also we have this alkyl group so now you have got this rearranged product that is via one two alkyl shift this alkyl this methyl group has shifted to the next position so now this is about the uh, uh, this uh, 1 to alkyl shift in valley via via benzoline intermediate. So this is our benzoline. Now suppose it, uh, we may also show it via or or we may show it via via prismine intermediate. So the prismine that is formed via the bar bending. So after this excited after excitation, so this is the excited xylene and first I should write the excited xylene. This would be converted into Dvar benzene, and okay. Now we may write it in a prismine type of intermediate. Now, so suppose this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. First, 
second, third, fourth, and this is our fifth carbon sixth. Okay, so how you can see this is first carbon, this is second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one, and Okay. or otherwise otherwise that can be after this 2 plus 2 sex addition reaction we may write okay. so now so this new bond is formed between suppose this is first again this is second third this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth new bond is formed between two and six and three and five now similar to here this is, we have this two three member ring this is one of the three member ring and this is the another three member ring and that now one of the bond can be here is one six and four five bond will be so c1 c6 c1 c6 and the c4 and c5 bond breaks so after breaking it what you will get we will get a we will get So, so one of the radical over first carbon and another radical over fourth carbon it will give rise to a double bond over here and the C5 and C6 radical so this will give a radical over here. So what we can see this is a type of book this is an open book type of structure this is the open book type of structure and this if I again if I rearrange this one, if I rearrange this one, then suppose this is our this is our carbon and where and two bonds over here and this this is the open part. This is the these two carbon, these are the open part, means one of the methyl group is present over here and the methyl group is present over. Again, we have got the structure similar to the Dibar benzene, and this we will we can write it like this. So this is that what we have got. We have got this one three one three shift, one two alkyl shift. Now this bond has shifted to this position. So overall, what I have shown the one two alkyl shift that can occur either via benzene intermediate or via via this. Uh, yeah, prismane type of intermediate. So this is our prismane intermediate. Now, so if we may show this 1,3 alkyl shift. Let us now show the this 1,3 alkyl shift. If we have suppose this benzene or xylene, xylene and this is our ortho okay. Now in 1 3, in 1 3. And this should come at this position. This should come at this position. And suppose if I irradiate it, first of all, it will undergo the excitation. And we can write in excited uh, one excited form. And this is the excited form. And finally, what we will get here. Now, one three alkyl shift. It also occurs via via prismine intermediate. This also occurs via prismine intermediate. 
Prismine intermediate. So, Prismine intermediate means means we have to draw a Divar benzene. We have to draw a Divar benzene like this. Now, this can be shown. This, now this can be written in a Prismine form. We can write it in the Prismine form. Again, this is first, second, third, and this is fourth, fifth, and sixth. And now, after getting this uh, 2 plus 2 cycle addition, 2 plus 2 cycle addition reaction, and and here we are getting the prismine. So, we are getting the prismine type of intermediate first, second, third, fourth. This is fourth, this is fifth and sixth. Now, so the two new bond form is between second and sixth, between third and fifth. Now we can two three member rings, we are getting two three member ring. And now this two three member ring, one of the bond will break. Which bond will break? Suppose I break this one and this one now. So how we can write? So we have broken this bond. Okay. So this is our first one, sixth carbon, fifth carbon, and this is fourth carbon, third carbon, second carbon, like this. And now one of the double bond is present over here, next double bond is present over here and two alkyl groups are present over here. So again we are getting the open block structure. Previously we have broken this bond. Now another re in another rearrangement the bond can be broken from here and we will get this type of book open book structure and this open book structure if I open or you know we can represent it in another way and we may represent it like this so suppose this is our sixth carbon and fifth carbon. This is this is the sixth and fifth carbon. And from sixth carbon and fifth carbon we have this alkyl group. And this is fourth over first and fourth carbon. Double bond is present. Second and third carbon this double bond is present. And we have a bond between sixth and fifth. This can be written in a benzene type of and this is again we are getting the Dewar benzene type of structure and we have this 1,3 alkyl shift okay this is the 1,3 alkyl shift okay so like this we can uh, represent the photochemistry in chylene now one of the example suppose on benzene if we have a Tertiary butyl group is present over here. Now, how can we show this 1 2 alkyl shift? So, via this 1 2 alkyl shift, if you want to show the 1 2 alkyl shift here, then what product that we will get? So, this is 1 3 5 product. This is 1 3 tertiary butyl is benzene, and here by 1 3 1 2 alkyl shift that can be shown. By, by this uh, benzovalene intermediate and in benzovalene intermediate so again I have written the benzovalene intermediate like this and now what I have done previously I have I broke this one bond this is one of the bond that I should break this is the another bond that I should break and finally finally I will get I will get this one and which bond this bond is broken down from here this is the another bond that I have broken and one this is present over here another this is present over here and double bond that would be one double bond over here another double bond would be here and finally I may write this structure as now so so now 
this will uh, now this carbon and this carbon is coming neighbor and this would be the our product